So look, some people are just born lucky and some people are born unlucky. And it would appear that little Summer Wells was born unlucky. And what do I mean by that? I mean, look, before Summer was even born, she'd already had an auntie who had vanished off the face of the planet and to this day has never been found. A complete mystery. Gone. (laughs) Gone. Her parents were criminals. They had a criminal history. And part of that criminal history would mean that they would be friends and associates with some people with severe violent proclivities that would see them hurt their own family and extended family members. And them themselves also had family members who had vanished off the face of the planet. Or a McClure we're talking about. Now look, Summer would grow up in Rogersville, Tennessee, within a house that Don had inherited from his mum. Now, not directly, because it had actually gone from his mum to Clyda Trent for a period of time. And it would be considered that this would happen because Don's mum was incredibly ill and she was receiving some form of state benefits and to keep them and keep them above a a level that would afford her a certain quality of life it was believed that the house was placed in trust with a close friend so it went to Clyder who held it and upon the death of Don's mum she would then give the property as agreed to Don so he is the owner of that property and Clyder actually she still owns numerous properties in the area she's actually quite a wealthy wealthy lady but look I digress so look Summer we get a glimpse of her life through nothing more than pictures and videos and they would show a tale of two halves because in one respect there's pictures of a lovely happy and bubbly little girl and dress nice and going out on fun days and there would be those pictures of seeing her out in kind of the wilderness with her brothers but there seemed to also be a sinister side because some of those videos that we see they don't offer that same picture and we can all make our own conclusions as to what those videos entail but that is nothing more than speculation you know it could be that a child just who who vanished by the way a few days later was just dancing around a barrel that just happened to have for sale on it and in an area that is renowned for child trafficking and sex trafficking and drug dealers and violent people and disappearing females already but you know what i'm saying it couldn't it's not look i'm not insinuating anything i'm just saying that this is where she grew up and this was her life now her father i do have to note that there has also accusations been made towards him about him potentially selling his children from another relationship and look that has been refuted so that is not fact Um, In fact, the fact I was given was that he'd taken his child along to a drug deal and it it looked bad. It looked bad. And look, I I don't know why that looked bad because, you know, we all take our children shopping and Don, at the end of the day, he was just shopping. So that was Summer's kind of her life. She went to church, which, you know, her dad was clearly a church man. He was a church man. He was an ex-con looking for God and potentially found him. And her mum rarely did like to go to church because it was somewhere where she could lay down, she could take a long nap and allow Summer just to roam free and hang about with the other adults within the church. And, you know, that was kind of the church side of Summer's life. But look, Summer was the boss of the house, we've been told as well. So, you know, she had this authority to her. She was a rugged, robust girl who would play on the swing and swing on that swing to heights of 15 and 20 feet. Despite looking like 
she was severely ill in some of the photos towards the end of her life. You know, she's... I'm sure that 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 streamlined version of her body just made her more more agile and aerodynamic while she was swinging. But look, so where are we now? Well, we know that on the 15th of June 2021, there would be an outing of sorts. The parents would be, well, we think Don was at work. Possibly not, but might be, possibly Nobody kind of knows 100%, but we're going to say for the point of this story that Don was at work. And Candace and Grandis and Summer's friend, 15-year-old H, we're going to call him, went out to do some shopping. Did I say... I got that wrong. Not Summer's 15-year-old friend, her mum's 15-year-old friend. They all went together. I just want to make that sort of clear because we're talking about facts so look they went out they done some shopping and different bits and pieces they got some milk and got some drugs and they got some when I say drugs I mean painkillers I don't mean the naughty sort I just don't want you lot throwing that at me so they got some painkillers they got some this alcoholic drink that is a bit you know it's not heavy stuff she didn't go out and buy a quart of vodka or something but this iced tea thing with a little bit of alcohol in it but they got some of that and you know summer even got to swim in a lovely picturesque lake i'm not sure if it was a lovely picturesque lake because there are sort of statements and kind of things being said that that water was a little bit like toilet water due to water coming down from the nearby horse stables but again we don't know 100 percent. but ultimately they were swimming for a period of around 20 to 30 minutes and just after that was the last time that anybody ever saw summer and what i mean by that i mean the last time that we have any record of her well-being now in that picture, we can't a hundred percent kind of know whether she was well or unwell because she d- she does look unwell. But look, the, I don't again. I do, I'm just speculating here. If I went any further, but all I'm saying is, from a factual standpoint, she was in the car and she looked a little bit white and purple. And she was laying on milk bottles. But look, we don't know. And she apparently got home. And she was fine. So she got home and they were planting flowers while they were at home. I think it was cactuses. Now, this would have been around sort of 3.30-ish that they got home. 3.15, 3.30. And they were planting... That was what they said anyway. They said they were planting flowers. Now, I've got five children and... Just as a side note, away from the film. Now, if you lot can tell me, anyone can tell me, how you can keep a five-year-old interested in planting flowers for a period of around sort of three hours, um, if you could just drop me an email, the email is in the description, and that would be great and helpful. Thank you very much. Equally... Um, if you could let me know how you can manage to stretch that out to take that long. Because I'd like to know how you can do that. But anyway, look, look. They were planting flowers. Um, there was no pictures or anything taken, which was bizarre. It was bizarre. that I would class that as a fact, because it is a little bit bizarre that no pictures of this moment of the flowers being planted and that was taken. But then after that all goes a little bit shady because Summer is reported missing. Now, the excerpt that we have from the 911 call would say that a four-year-old had gone missing after their parent had come back from going for a walk and finding her missing. Now, that could have been completely, completely just misconstrued by the operator who took it. She might have got the age wrong, she might have got the details of what exactly happened wrong. It's possible, because in those style of jobs, and when you're given that sort of information, it's very important that you get it right, don't get it right. But look, but we'll never know who was getting it wrong at this stage, because we haven't heard them tapes, because 
they have been refused to go into the public. And someone did point out, look, we the public don't need to know, which we don't. We don't. You're absolutely right. We don't need to know what that call said and what was in it, but we normally would because it would normally be out there that would be one of the first things that would be handed to the media but they cited it as an ongoing investigation and um they kept it so anyway so since then what have we seen so we've seen a situation where the family is obviously upset you can see they're upset you know the first place that don goes when he comes back is the shed to make sure that the shed's all right or Summer might be in the shed because no one else has checked in the shed. Possibly, I don't know. But he's gone to the shed just to make sure something's all right with the shed. Um, and he's quite quickly come to the conclusion that Summer has been abducted and she's been taken away. Which, you know, I've not ever been in that position where I've lost a child. Mainly because I keep an eye on him. But it can happen. And I understand that there are situations where you could completely lose a child off the face of the planet if you do everything right but look the story they tell the story of exactly what happened and of course it sounds plausible the first time not so much the second time because then you start seeing the differences in the first time and then the, the third time and little bits and pieces start to fall apart. But look, again, it can be explained because when you have a child that goes missing, you're not thinking straight. You're panicking, there's worry sets in, and you can mis misremember things. And look, it's completely normal to get the stories completely wrong. Like the for sale barrel that someone was dancing in front of, that could be completely normal. And we, as a community, can, I suppose, make something of that that it's not. Like we could say that, look, it would appear that they were trying to make money off Summer when she was alive, and since she's gone missing, and the, you know, the YouTube accounts and things like that, and she, it would appear that they were trying to monetize the, the, the disappearance of their daughter afterwards. But again, that is complete speculation, because we don't know how somebody would react when they think their daughter's gone missing. But she's vanished. She's vanished, she's vanished, she's vanished off the face of the planet. And we know that there's searches going on. We know that they think it's abduction. They said that they believe someone's taken her. They believe that they're withholding her from her. But they're making sure that they're doing as much as they can to get their child back. Don is making sure he's doing that from prison. And the mum is making sure she's doing that with hanging out with Benny Keys and on YouTube. All I know is this. Summer, I truly hope that whatever's happened and whatever transpires, speculation and considerations aside... I truly hope that you get justice.